Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, today I am uh, sharing one very interesting case. Uh, the case is a uh, having differential diagnosis of uh, malabsorption syndrome or uh, inflammatory bowel disease, more likely uh, Crohn's disease, and uh, third differential diagnosis is of uh, irritable bowel syndrome. Uh, the case is of 27 years male patient who is complaining of uh, regurgitation of the um, gastric contents since uh, seven eight months and uh, fullness of uh, abdomen, heaviness of uh, abdomen after eating the food and uh, something like gas regurgitating, some uh, gastric content regurgitating uh, after meal one or two hours or two and a half hours after taking the meal. So, uh, no any history of uh, diarrhea. Uh, stool consistency was normal. Uh, no any history of fever. And uh, significant uh, history of uh, weight loss uh, around 15 kg in three, four months. So, uh, the diagnosis was suspected for malabsorption syndrome and uh, irritable, uh, sorry, Crohn's disease. Uh, the findings which I had observed in this case, they are very minor, uh, very um, fine findings, which uh, if you don't have experience, uh, we can give that report normal also. Uh, what are the findings? Uh, I will explain you. Let us see the images of this case. So this is uh, this is ileum, and uh, this these are the ileal loops which are uh, hyperechoic in texture and uh, normal thickness or little bit marginally thickened ileal loops which are in right iliac fossa. The texture of this ileal loop is hyperechoic which is suggestive of uh, you know uh, uh, some fibrotic changes or uh, some parenchymal changes which are of chronic type. These ileal loops are white in color and uh, uh, fibrotic, the base of saying the fibrotic changes is that uh, this muscle uh, sheet fascia they are whitish in color and this is also whitish in color and uh, this pattern of uh, uh, hyperechoic wall in favor of fibrotic changes is that there are uh, see whitish whitish band over here inside uh, in acute ileitis uh, we also we see this kind of uh, ileum only but uh, the main point is that few loops they are having this internal fibrotic uh, line, uh, hyperechoic line, which is suggestive of uh, fibrotic changes inside the uh, wall of the ileum. Second thing, uh, few loops of ileum were uh, little bit dilated, 22 mm, and were fluid filled, which suggests that uh, there is a chronic, not chronic, but a low grade, uh, non significant type of uh, obstruction, not obvious obstruction, but uh, Mm, something like uh, very small structure which may obstruct the uh, outlet uh, which, which may obstruct uh, transiently the lumen of the uh, ileum and uh, after that it gets distended second thing uh, these jejunal loops they are also somewhat hyperechoic in texture normally jejunal loops are not hyper hyperechoic in texture but here we see this texture of this jejunal loop has also changed. This means that this type of uh, parenchymal changes has uh, initiated in the jejunal loop also. Descending colon was not so much appreciable, but uh, very minor uh, chronic inflammatory changes were suspected. This is the jejunal loop once again. This and it is hyperechoic. Normally, these jejunal loops are hypoechoic. You can see in another videos of normal jejunal loop in this channel. 
uh, the villi of the sagittal loops were well preserved but uh, little bit hyperechoic this is also jejunum jejunum this is ilium this is mesentery and uh, in this mesentery there is a uh, chronic inflammatory changes uh, how we can say that there is chronic inflammatory changes because inside this mesentery there is your whitish whitish area so this suggests uh, some uh, chronic inflammatory changes uh, this was the jejunal loop uh, scanned by the convex probe and showing the villi here this was gallbladder little bit hyperechoic wall and edematous wall and uh, the findings of this case uh, which I had written are something like that gallbladder gallbladder is mild thickened and uh, well distended with wall thickness 5 mm almost uh, all of the jejunum and ilium shows mild to moderately uh, mild to moderate grade of altered wall texture and uh, altered wall texture of the wall with well preserved villi in jejunum villi in ilium are not so much appreciated Jejunum and ilium, ilium loops shows fluid filled lumen with increased peristalsis. Peristalsis are more strong in jejunum than in ilium loops. Over distension of the lumen is not present, however. Maximum diameter of the lumen is up to 22 mm. Uh, pattern of dilatation, a uh, pattern of dilated fluid filled ilium loops is wavy type, which could be due to fibrosis of the wall. Altered texture of the jejunum is more in peripheral part towards subserosal layer. Mucosa and submucosal layer does not show much altered texture. Ilium shows minimally thickened wall with approximately 90% thickness of the wall showing altered texture. Descending colon shows altered wall texture with normal wall thickness. Mesentery in upper abdomen mostly associated with jejunum and ilium is mild, thickened, edematous and altered texture in favor of chronic inflammatory changes. Altered wall texture of ilium and jejunal loops with well preserved. Uh, from here we are giving the summary. Altered wall texture of ilium and jejunum loops with well preserved villi in jejunal loops and poor possibility of poorly appreciated villi in ilial loops, possibility of wall parenchymal pathology of small bowel loops, increased peristalsis of jejunum and ilium loops, query it may be low grade obstruction due to stricture or fibrosis of the small bowel wall, the small bowel loops, and impression malabsorption syndrome, Crohn's disease, irritable bowel syndrome. No any enlarged lymph nodes were present. So, very interesting case. And uh, whenever you see come across this type of case, uh, you just uh, take the history of the patient and most of the patient, they have the history of uh, some sort of uh, fullness of abdomen. It is due to uh, it is due to low grade um, obstruction, which gives uh, the complaint of fullness of abdomen due to stricture or uh, uh, loss of elasticity of the iliac loops, small bowel loops which are the signs of uh, Crohn's disease. So, very interesting case. Yeah, that's all. Thank you.